What's up, sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel. We continue here with my 2024 college football schedule preview and projected record series. The Texas Tech Red Raiders are up next before we preview their schedule for 2024 and give them an early projected record based on how tough their schedule is. Let's take a look back at what Texas Tech did in 2023. Here are my projections and predictions last year for the Red Raiders. My projection had them at 6-6, six and six, and then my prediction for them was 7-5 and five in 2023. The Red Raiders went 6-6 six and six overall in 2023 in the regular season, but 7-6 and six overall if you count their bowl game victory at the end of the year. So not a very disappointing season for Texas Tech. This is a team that I, you know, I picked exactly where I thought they would be. So I was right on the money with their projection, but I was a little bit off there with my prediction for this team for 2023. They did have a pretty tough schedule last year. A lot of people think this was a very disappointing season. But here was the schedule last year for Texas Tech. And you just look at their non-conference schedule. Had a very tough non-conference schedule with Wyoming and Oregon both in there. And they ended up losing both of those games in the non-conference. So very tough non-conference schedule last year with a couple of those teams. And then you look at the six losses here, like we just mentioned, with Wyoming and Oregon. They lost to both of those teams there in the month of September. And then you look at the rest of the games here in the Big 12. They lost to West Virginia here on the road back on September the 23rd. Lost to Kansas State here at home, BYU on the road, and then of course Texas here. In the rivalry game back on November 24th on the road as well. So again, a 6-6 six and six record last year in the regular season for 2023 for Texas. Texas Tech. Let's now look ahead to 2024. Here is the schedule for the Red Raiders for this upcoming season. And before we go game by game, let's take a look at who they will play officially in the non-conference this upcoming season. So this is their non-conference schedule. They will play Albany Christian here in the non-conference. Then they'll go on the road to face Washington State here in the non-conference. That's a very interesting non-conference game there, uh, going on the road to face a former Pac-12 team in the Cougars of Washington State here on the road. And then they'll play North Texas here in the non-conference as well. So not a very tough non-conference schedule compared to last year. you got a couple of cupcake games. Games. And then you got Washington State here on the road, which is definitely their toughest non-conference game. But that's a non-conference schedule for 2024. Let's now go back to the schedule here for the upcoming season and go game by game now. So Texas Tech will kick off with Albany Christian here on August 31st. And then after that, they do play Washington State here on the road on September the 7th. And then they'll play and then they'll play North Texas here on September the 14th. So the Red Raiders will play uh, three of their non-conference games to kick off the year. And then after that, they open up Big 12 play here at home against Arizona State here on September the 21st. And then it's also a home game here against Cincinnati on September the 28th. And then they get to the month of October. They'll play on the road here at Arizona on October the 5th. And then they get their first bye week here this season. Their first bye week comes here at the second weekend of the month of October. Then they'll play Baylor here at home on October the 19th. And then it's TCU here on the road on October the 26th. They get to the month of November. They'll play Iowa State here on the road as well on November 2nd. So they got back-to-back -back road games here with TCU and Iowa State here on October 26th and November 2nd. And then it's back at home here against Colorado on, on November the 9th. And then they get their second bye week at a pretty good time. Their second bye week comes here right before a big road game against Oklahoma State here on the road on November 23rd and then they close things out with West Virginia here on November the 30th at home so that's the schedule for the Red Raiders in 2024 not a very bad schedule for Texas Tech they do got some tough road games with TCU Iowa State and Arizona then of course Oklahoma State which I think will definitely be their toughest road game here in the Big 12 and then you got Washington State here in the non-conference which does make it a little bit tougher but again, not a very bad schedule for Texas Tech. So let's now get a projection here for the Red Raiders for 2024. And again, this is not my official prediction. This is simply a projection based on how tough the schedule is. And this is the scale I use here for my projections. If it's a 1% game in the red, uh, that percentage is counted as an automatic loss here when we do these projections. 20% games in the orange are going to be games where Texas Tech will be about a couple touchdowns of underdogs. 40% uh, games in the yellow will be a slight underdog in some of these games by at least a touchdown and also a heavy underdog in those games as well. 50-50 games will stay in the wide, of course. Games, I think, can go either way. 60% uh, games in the purple are going to be games where Texas 
Tech will be favored by at least a touchdown. And then the 80% games here in the blue are going to be games where they'll be favored by a couple touchdowns and also by double digits. And then the green games here at 99%, these are pretty much the automatic wins here in this, uh, you know, percentage when we do the projections here. So we'll start with that, you know, we'll start with that percentage here first for Texas Tech for 2024. Uh, let's start with the green games here, the automatic wins here for Texas Tech. And I think you've got a couple of them on here for Texas Tech. I got Albany Christian in North Texas. I think both of these games, Texas Tech will be favored by more than three touchdowns. And I think they should go out there and take care of business in both of these games as well. So... I don't really see the Red Raiders having any problems in both of these games. And like I said, I think both of these games are counted as automatic wins here when we do these projections. But like I said, uh, when we do these projections, they're not guaranteed wins, but they're counted as automatic wins here uh, when we at least do these projections. So I think Texas Tech will be favored uh, by more than three touchdowns in both of these games right here in the green. So again, those are counted as automatic wins. I don't have any blue games for Texas Tech here because every game in the Big 12 is definitely not like another slight win here. And also not another guaranteed win for Texas Tech either. So let's go to the purple games now. Games where Texas Tech will be favored by at least a touchdown here in the purple at 60%. And I got about four of them on here. Arizona State, Cincinnati, Baylor, and Colorado. I know all four of these games are at home for Texas Tech. They should be favored by a couple touchdowns. But no, every game in the Big 12 is going to be very competitive. And I think the Big 12 is definitely going to be a very crazy conference this year. A lot of these teams are going to beat up on each other. But I think... Texas Tech will be favored in all four of these games just because they're playing at home. Uh, they're not guaranteed wins, but they're really close, like, you know, like games here that where Texas Tech will be favored in. So, again, all four of these games, I think the Red Raiders, you can favor them by at least a touchdown. Again, Arizona State, Cincinnati, Baylor, and Colorado, all these uh, teams that you're seeing in the purple were not very good teams last year. I do expect them to kind of, you know, uh, have turnarounds of seasons this year, but we don't really know how good these teams are going to be until we get into the rosters and everything. So I think Texas Tech will be favored in all four of these games by at least a touchdown. Uh, let's go to the games now where their Texas Tech will be an underdog in. I don't have any red or orange games on here in the 1% and 20% category, but I do have one game here in the yellow at 40% where they're going to be a slight underdog in. And that's on the road here at Oklahoma State. So I think Texas Tech will be a slight underdog here on the road at Oklahoma State. If this game was at home for Texas Tech, I definitely would put it in the white and make it a 50-50 game here, but I think the good news about Texas Tech here is that they get a bye week before playing this game, and you have a really good chance to probably knock off Oklahoma State here in this game on the road. I think every game in the Big 12, to be honest, is very winnable, and I think anybody can win any games here in the Big 12 either. I don't think there's going to be like a 10-win team perhaps in the Big 12 this year, so I think Texas Tech will be very competitive in this game, not saying they're going to lose to them and not saying they're going to win it, but again, I think they'll be a slight underdog here on the road at Oklahoma State, and again, the reason why it's a yellow game is just because it's on the road and I think the Cowboys are definitely the more talented team but like I said if it was a home game for Texas Tech I definitely would put it in the white but that's the only game that I see Texas Tech being like an underdog in and then the rest of the games here for the Red Raiders are all pretty much 50-50 games uh, Washington State Arizona TCU Iowa State all on the road and then West Virginia here at home is also a 50-50 game so yeah all these games that you're seeing here in the white are going to be going either way I think Washington State is a very tough non con conference game. If this game was at home here in the non-conference for Texas Tech, I definitely would put it in the purple and favor the Red Raiders by at least a touchdown, but I'm going to stick with it and put it in the white just because it's on the road. And then Arizona, TCU, Iowa State, all these road games are definitely very winnable for the Red Raiders. They can definitely go either way. I know Arizona is going to have a first-year head coach and all, but I think that's a game that can go either way just because it's on the road. TCU, that's a very tough place to play. I think both of these rosters are pretty even. Uh, same thing with Iowa State, that's a tough place to play, but I think both rosters are pretty even as well. And the reason why I made West Virginia a 50-50 game here is just because they're playing here at home. If this game was on the road at West Virginia, I definitely would probably put it in the yellow, but with Texas Tech being at home, I think that definitely gives them confidence to pull off a huge win here. So all these games that you're seeing in the wider are games that can go either way. So let's not get a projected record here for Texas Tech in 2024. And like I said, this is not my official prediction. This is simply a projection based Based on how tough the schedule is. So we count those two green games as automatic wins. Then you average out all these purple games here at 60%. And then you average out that one yellow game there at 40% against Oklahoma State. And then you average out
average out all these 50-50 games here at 50%, and the overall projected record that you get for Texas Tech comes out to be 7-5 here for 2024. So a 7-5 projection for Texas Tech, a little bit better than last year. And again, I don't think this is a very tough schedule, but when it comes to the Big 12, there's going to be a lot of very competitive games, and I just think any Big 12 game can go either way because this conference is just going to be so competitive. A lot of teams are going to beat up on each other as well. And like I said, all these games that you're seeing here on the schedule are definitely very winnable, and also the games that you're seeing them, like an underdog in against Oklahoma State, that's definitely a very winnable game on the road at Oklahoma State. Any game is really winnable here in the Big 12. And like I said, all these 50-50 games can go either way. The Purple games, even though they're favorites in those, they can go either way as well. So... Again, at Texas Tech, 7-5 and five projection here for 2024. I think best case scenario would definitely have to be 8-4. and four. Uh, It really would shock me if this team did go 9-3. and three. Uh, I don't really see them doing that here with this schedule, with this type of schedule. But if they go 6-6, six and six, that definitely would be a very big disappointment. And also maybe 5-7, and seven, that would also be a very disappointing season for Texas Tech. But based on this schedule, the overall projected record is 7-5 and five here for Texas Tech. Give me your thoughts on Texas Tech down in the comments below what do you think their projected record is for 2024 and thanks for watching this video and stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my lucas ross sports channel